Hey there, Perry. This is Susie Devine. I am back on here to answer all of your amazing questions about menopause, perimenopause, and supplements that we can do to help you out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First question we got was I wake up every two hours or so in the night is there a specific supplement that can help me with staying asleep uh, this is really tricky sleep can be a super frustrating side effect of not just perimenopause and menopause but really for any human being whether you're male or female and what we recommend is magnesium Magnesium is a mineral and magnesium is super helpful in terms of calming down the nervous system. It's also a great muscle relaxant. So once you fall asleep, it's really great at sort of keeping you and the body still um, so that you can get a good restful night's sleep. So magnesium would be my top supplement for you. Melatonin is great occasionally However, it is not something that I recommend taking every single night as supplementing with melatonin can throw off our body's natural melatonin and sleep cycle. The most important supplements I recommend taking for perimenopause and menopause support are gonna be the ones that are gonna target the brain, the gut and your bones. So that's really gets to the core of what's going on with the severe hormone fluctuation and drop that's happening in our body as our ovaries cycle down and shut down and basically stop functioning. So the first one I'm going to recommend is an omega 369. I think any woman should be taking this no matter what reproductive life stage you're in. Most of us don't get enough omega-3s, 6s, and 9s through diet alone, unless you're eating a ton of fish, healthy oils, fats, nuts, seeds on a daily basis through diet alone. Um, and if we're not following a strict Mediterranean diet, it can be hard to get the daily recommended dose. This is gonna help with vision, it's gonna help with brain fog, and it's also going to keep your uterus healthy um, and help the hormones that you have left. So make sure to add this into your diet. I'm also gonna suggest that you take a vitamin D3 with K2. You wanna supplement with about 2,000 of IUs of vitamin D3 daily. However, uh, once we approach menopause, we well humans are really deficient in vitamin d anyways let's face it we're not out in the sun enough and unless we're eating fish skin we're not getting it through diet so everyone should really be supplementing with vitamin d as we age for women or females we worry about osteoporosis so we want to support our bones so calcium plus vitamin D3 and K2 are critical um, in helping prevent osteoporosis or osteopenia um, and just help strengthen our bones. So 2000 I use, if not more, um, make sure you get this blood work done annually because your levels can fluctuate. And if you're over supplementing, we would worry about your liver function. So really important to work with a health practitioner or something like Bento where it's personalized for you and we can really help you get the right dosage. The next supplement and my last one is going to be a symbiotic. I am such a huge believer in gut health. You know, everything starts in the microbiome. This is where over 90% of the serotonin in our body is made. And as many of us enter menopause, we deal with a lot of mental side effects. So anxiety, depression, you name it. So if we can take care of our gut, we can also 
uh, support a healthy mind and help hopefully alleviate some of those um, mental health side effects or mood changes that you're experiencing. Okay, for libido, this is a really tricky question and it impacts many of us at different stages throughout our reproductive life cycle. So this is true for women, whether you're in menopause, postmenopause, or in your period years. Uh, libido is just super tricky and a really funky thing to deal with. I think one of the best things that you could do is work on your gut health. Um, that's where, again, 90 over 90 percent of the serotonin in our body lives so if we can take care of our gut then we're going to take care of our mind and if we're feeling good um, then hopefully that can help us jump start our sex drive uh, in terms of other over-the-counter supplements i'm pretty wary of things promoting um you know increase in sex drive i just have not seen enough clinical trial data to recommend anything. What I would suggest is, you know, we have been looking more at uh, biosimilars um, in terms of HRT treatment, and perhaps you can work with a physician who could recommend you to a compounding pharmacy for HRT, because this might actually help you with libido more in menopause and postmenopause than um, an over-the-counter supplement will. Joint pain. I love this question because I think so many of us suffer from it without realizing. One of the best supplements you can take for joint pain is going to be that omega-3, 6, 9 DHA can also act as an anti-inflammatory agent. So make sure you're taking that. I know we've discussed it already for help with some other symptoms we can feel in perimenopause and menopause. And outside of a DHA, I do really recommend, there's a supplement out there called MSM. Um, I forget the full name. We don't carry it here at Bento, but I used to take it back in high school and college because I suffered from a lot of joint pain and stress fractures. And um, one, my family doctor recommended it and it worked really well for me. So that's something that you definitely should check out and give a try. It's easy enough to try that. It's over the counter um, and it shouldn't hurt. Pollen and menopause. I assume you're talking about bee pollen, but I'm not sure. So bee pollen is great. Um, there are some, you know, reports showing that bee pollen can help with immunity and allergies. Um, I know a lot of my patients when I worked at a fertility clinic would call asking about bee pollen. I don't know enough about the supplement specifically to talk to it. Um, or its impact in menopause and postmenopause. So I would really recommend looking to see if there's some clinical trial data to back this up. Otherwise, I mean, it could just be a big waste of money. So I first would start with um, a multi that contains, you know, your vitamin D, your K2, your calcium, make sure you're getting a DHA fish oil or a vegan form, make sure you're taking a symbiotic. Um, and then our uh, menopause vitamin here also contains ashwagandha, um, which is great for stress relief. So you could try that adaptogen um, as well as a specific one to help with hot flashes. So that's my take on bee pollen. Sorry if it's not super helpful. I just don't know quite enough about it. And I don't want to tell you something um, false or that's, that's not.